WoW stays true to form by dropping a $90 dinosaur mount during an already controversial <laughs> balance patch. And of course, there's tons of them. Uh, yeah, this is the thing with all of this stuff. Everybody complains about a $90 skin, right? Everybody would complain about that. That's all insane. $90 skin in a game you're already paying every month to play. It's ridiculous. But uh, guess what? Everybody still buys it. In the cities in the game, there's hordes of them. There's like whole herds. Like everybody that you see here paid 90 bucks for the skin or for the mount or whatever. And like people are complaining about it. Rightly so, I would say, because that's insane. But people still buy it. Asmund Gold bought 500 of them. <laughs> it's part of his redemption arc. <laughs> oh, man. It's just like it's it's the age old problem with these these things with like uh, battle passes with paid cosmetics with pay to win stuff. Everybody complains about it. Not everybody. OK, I'll be, uh, like demonstrably, not everybody. But people complain about it. And yet thousands upon thousands thousands upon thousands of people still buy it at the end of the day your wallet is what determines this stuff if you buy it or if enough people buy it they'll still do it because yeah they'll get flamed on social media but what do they care like what do they care if people are still buying it lizard may have just hit the jackpot as far as the eye can see imagine not playing the game for 18 years and logging in today to just see it's a bunch of players wearing tier two and riding brontos as far as the eye can see that would be funny I laughed when I saw the regular Bruto on the side of the screen, just minding his own business. <laughs> just, just chilling, just chilling. Like maybe, maybe I'm the boomer here. Okay. Let's remove ourselves. Look at it afterwards. Maybe I'm the boomer and maybe this is just the new normal. Maybe being anti $90 skins is, is the old boomer thing to do on the one hand, like or I guess it's not even a skin, it's a mount. So it's a little bit different even than that. But maybe this is just considered like totally chill now because so many people are buying it. Same thing with like Call of Duty. People pay 30, 40 bucks for blueprint kits and for packs and stuff. It seems so insane to me, but people do it all of the time. Silver Lightning thing for the five. What is a good way to do skins in your opinion? Earning money for indie devs can be tempting. I mean, apparently doing $90 versions is fine. That seems to work pretty well. <laughs> that seems to do okay. Sean, thank you. Five gifted memberships to the community. Thank you. Welcome everybody who just got a membership. Check the chat. You might've gotten one. And uh, Kadir just joined at the show off tier. That's insane. Thank you guys. Extremely generous. Thank you. Uh, by the way, everybody, just so you know, before I finish this, I am filming. I say am because I got halfway through it. Then I had to stop because I had to go take care of the boys, my children, not like my friends. Uh, but I am filming the video, the exclusive Patreon member supporter video of the month, which is an I tried of the new quiet place game. It's pretty spoopy. It's pretty spoopy. So yeah, we're, we're doing, we're doing that. So if you are a member, you will get access to that video. Yeah, as for like a clever way to do skins, I don't know, man. It seems like this is working just fine. People complain about it, but I'm sure they're selling thousands and thousands and thousands of these these mounts. And as a result, they're, they're just raking in the money. I mean, how it started, how it's going. Yeah, literally, I mean, it's just horse armor. Getting this is considered rich. Like... To a certain extent, it's like a social status thing. Like if you have this, then you're, you're like, everybody's kind of impressed. Cause it's like, Ooh, high roller over here. But I, I think it's also indicative of the, the demographic. A lot of people that play wow are like older, young adult or mid-age adult males. They've been playing for a long time. They um, have a lot of expendable income. And so 90 bucks on a skin for a game they play constantly isn't considered that crazy. And perhaps that's the biggest uh, takeaway for these these companies is if you have an older demo that's playing your game, you can get away with charging a lot more. Star Citizen, I just did this Space Tomato podcast earlier this morning. That game, they're selling multi-hundred dollar ships and people are buying them in droves. Like it, it works very well for them. And I think it's because they have a similar demo, but it's just, it's wild to see it in action, to see so many people. Is this just all the subreddit is, it's just waves and waves of, yeah, when people say they're unsubbing to WoW because of the new mount. Yeah, literally. You've just lost yourself a customer. Sorry, what? You've lost yourself a customer. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what this is. They don't, I just don't think they, uh, I just don't think they care that much. People buy it. 
And this is where like, maybe we need to remove ourselves from our bubbles because I look at this and I'm like, that seems crazy. Clearly a lot of people are buying it. So, so there's people that are very vocally opposed to it, but there's also a lot of people that not just are okay with it, are willing to spend a lot of money on it. Same thing with Call of Duty skins, same thing with Fortnite skins. Like there's a reason those games make billions of dollars. And this is why I've told people like, anybody who doesn't understand how GTA is so big, like, there are a lot of people out there that are totally okay if they have like the one game they play, they're totally okay with spending a lot of money in it. GTA, people spend so much money on shark cards, it's ridiculous. Call of Duty, people spend so much money on skins, on operative, whatever, packs, like weapon packs. They spend so much money because it's the one game they play. So they kind of get into this mental state, and I think we're all guilty of it, where they're like, ooh, this is free to play. So I can mentally justify spending $20 on this pack of cosmetics because maybe it's uh, maybe it's Valorant. I got this game for free. I play it a lot. It's really well done. So I'm going to support the devs by buying this $20 skin for my weapon. I think in Valorant it's like 40 or 50 or whatever, but it's it's a lot. And so they say that to themselves. And then a month or two goes by and they say, "Well, it is free to play and this new skin looks really good, so I'm going to support them by buying this skin." And they just spent $100 total. They spent way more than they would have if they just paid for the game up front, but mentally it feels better because it's framed differently. And I think that's how a lot of these companies can get away with this is that it, it feels like it feels better. You know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is 60. This mount is 90. Yeah. Yeah. Like to me, this seems insane, but I, I don't know. Do, are any of you guys like MMO players? Cause I think it's a different crowd. I think most of the people in here are probably like a lot of single player gamers and stuff. MMO players, I think are a different different beast in the modern day and i think the tolerance for this stuff is maybe higher because to me a 90 dollar mount seems so crazy i am baffled that people are buying it <laughs> this is why we have a 90 dollar mount microsoft ceo's pay raise 63 percent to 73 million yeah we'll talk about this article here in a few minutes yeah we've we got to talk about that <laughs> i'd purchase it I'd do it again <laughs> botters trying to refund brutus after bandwave Oh, what? There's been a ban wave? Oh. So if you get banned, you can't return stuff anymore. That's funny. That's that's good. That's a good way to do it. Honestly, that's a good way to do it. So you can't make fake accounts and then do like exploits and stuff and then try to get refunds and everything because it's like, no, screw you. <laughs> Shot down, man. Uh, MMO players typically only play their favorite MMO with their clans and friends. I've been an MMO player since Star Wars, Galaxies. I've never bought a single thing other than a seven DLCs. To be fair, I spent a hundred bucks on a wooden elephant statue the other day. A skin is the same thing to look at category, I guess. Yeah, and like, this is, this is where like, I have to not be a total like hypocrite. I play Warhammer, okay? I play a lot of Warhammer. Like, is my third camera working? No, it's not. Love that. Love that for us. There it is. Like I play, you can see how much I'm slouching in my chair. I, I play a lot of Warhammer. You see all the Warhammer back there? I also have the Lego Harry Potter Green Guts Castle. I play a lot of Warhammer, okay? A lot. This stuff is stupid expensive. It's bad. It's, it's really bad. I'm asking for help right now. But like, who am I to judge somebody for spending that much money on a skin when, when I've spent a lot of money on that stuff? Like, I've got the Lego Pyramid of Giza. I've got collector's edition statues behind me. I have a Lego Titanic. And that stuff is really only good for looking at. So who am I to judge somebody spending 90 bucks on a skin that they're going to, or a mount that they're going to look at in the game? Don't ask how much this is. <laughs> I didn't pay for this. They sent this to me, but dear God almighty, if somebody thought I bought that, they'd be like, you can never, ever say anything. Yeah. Your candle obsession. True. All of those are candles. All of those. I literally burned my money. Anyway, going back to all this. Yeah, WoW launched a $90 dinosaur mount. People are still buying it in droves. Uh, botters are trying to return it. It's not working, but there's just an ocean. I swear, baby, it's normally bigger than this. They nerfed his belt size. That's funny. Um, people are still buying it in droves. And uh, the people that are upset about it, it's going nowhere and they're going to do it again.
I would bet that there's gonna be more super expensive skins and mounts and stuff launched because people will still buy it. People ask, how do they get away with this? Because people buy it. A lot of people buy it. That's just how it is. A lot of people buy it. Seems crazy to me to spend 90 bucks on a, a mount, but you know, at the same time, I have a candle addiction and a Lego addiction. So who am I to judge? I'm not the best, uh, best messenger on this point, but um, a lot of people are, a lot of people are buying it. Doesn't make sense to me, but people are doing it. I can get 10 games out of that. Yeah, this is why like, it's such a, it's such a different thing, but it's also like people that buy f like and drive fancy cars or like use really nice golf clubs or something. Like once you're in that group, you're just frankly in a different bubble than the people over here that are like, why on earth would you spend $600 on a golf club or something? I don't, I, I haven't really been shopping for golf clubs. I've only ever bought like the all in one kit. That's like the cheapest bundle, whatever. But like, I've heard there are some golf clubs that are stupid expensive. And I think once you're at that point where you're willing to spend that amount of money on something in your hobby, you're just in a different bubble. Like you've justified it. You don't care what anybody says. You're going to do your own thing, you know? He took my thing. Red, red flag.